in my opinion and i'm gonna let y'all in on one of my number one tips as it relates to getting a hundred thousand subscribers on youtube if you want to know my number one secret tip that is all right all right let's get into it let's get into it let's get into it i am super excited you guys about today's video i didn't even do my intro hey y'all hey it's trey and monet back to y'all with another video like i said i'm super excited about today's video you guys in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys my top five proven strategies to help you become a paid influencer in the year 2023 so let's hop right on into it but i definitely want to start by talking about like the hardest part i believe as it relates to becoming an influencer just so that way you can get that mindset block out of the way because if you don't get this mindset block out of the way the five proven steps that i'm going to give you is really not going to help you out <laughs> so let's talk about first um the hardest part or the hardest you know thing as it relates to being an influencer and i feel like the number one thing that's like the really hard the hardest part is you have to stop caring what people think. Let me go ahead and reel you in, reel you in, reel you in, reel you in. You have to stop caring about what people think. You have to stop giving a about what people think, about what they say, about the way that they think about your content, the things that they think about you. You have to literally stop caring. And I was thinking about this the other day. I realized that people don't care as much as we think that they care. And you shouldn't care what people care about you. And the reason why is because people literally have their own agendas. They have their own stuff going on. And nobody is sitting thinking about your content, thinking about you becoming a content creator. And it's not living in their minds rent free. Whether it be content creation, influencing, being a business owner, entrepreneur, whatever it is. People literally don't care as much as we think that they care, right? So I think that it's really important for us to think about it this way. Like if I'm blogging in Target, somebody might stare at me and they'll probably think about me like what is she doing for a good three to five seconds. But after that, they on their own. They trying to figure out, you know, how am I, what time am I going to pick my daughter up for school? Oh my goodness, the light bills do. Oh my goodness, let me get this mop. Like people really have their own things going on in their lives and they're not sitting there thinking about what did Troya post today and that's all they're thinking about all day. So I really want you guys to start thinking about it as if when I do post my content, somebody might have something to say about it or they might think away about it for a good two to three seconds. But after that, they move it on, right? So I really want you guys to think, think about it this way is people don't care that much. So just go do what you want to do because at the end of the day, they're going to say what they want to say. They can think the way that they want to think, but it's literally not permanent so who cares so before we hop right on into today's topic i definitely have to go through and give you guys a nice little announcement i am so excited you guys i am hosting my first ever youtube event it is called you hustle it is a live panel discussion and a live q a held on zoom and it is a completely free event and i want you there so make sure you guys go ahead and click the link down below in the description i just released it yesterday y'all yesterday and we already have over 300 people registered. We have a cap right now at 500, but if I see that it's getting close to 500, we can go ahead and include, increase the cap to a thousand people, you guys. I want everyone there. If you are trying to grow your influence, if you're trying to become a content creator, you need to be here. We have some amazing panelists. Some of you guys' favorite YouTubers will be in the building just discussing the behind the scenes as it relates to being an influencer. We're gonna be talking about brand deals, we're going to be talking about balancing our careers and also being the influencer. We're going to be talking about a little bit of everything, giving each other's gems on as it relates to content creation. So if you're watching this after April 20th, there will be a replay on my channel. So all you have to do is click my channel name, search, search, search about you hustle and you will be able to also watch the replay. So let's hop right on into it. I know you guys came here for the five proven ways that you can become a paid influencer. So the first thing that I need you to do, number one, is you have to brainstorm your why. And of course, this is like the not so sexy part as it relates to becoming an influencer, but you gotta figure out like, why am I even, why do I even wanna become an influencer? Do I wanna become an influencer because I wanna just post cute pictures and rock nice clothes? And if that's your why, that's totally fine. I can't tell you what your why is, 
but I want you to start thinking about like what is my why right because it's gonna be times in your influencer journey where you're like I don't feel like creating content today especially when you become full-time especially when you start you know making a career out of it it's gonna be times where you don't feel like creating content like today I even I was like I don't know if I feel like creating content today but at the same time I had to sit down and I had to remember my why why am I going through and being a content creator? Why do I want to be an influencer? And the why is the thing that's going to drive you forward when you don't feel like doing it. It's going to be days that you just want to sleep and you don't want to do nothing else. But your why is going to be the thing that's going to kind of hold you accountable. So I really want you to think about like, why are you starting this journey in the first place? Write it down. And it don't got to be nothing crazy, long, compassionate, and you know, this long, heartfelt story. It could literally be, I like creating content and I like engaging with people. Boom, write it down, make it plain. That's number one. Number two is probably one of my favorites and it is brainstorm what type of content creator you want to become and what type of influencer you want to become, right? So become a, becoming an influencer is like really similar to like starting a business, if you will, because you really got to think about like a target audience. And your target audience being an influencer or being a content creator is very similar to like a business, right? Who are we creating the content for? Am I creating content for busy moms? Am I creating content for people who are full-time entrepreneurs who are looking to launch and scale their businesses? Am I creating content for people who really like to cook? Am I creating content for people who like, I don't know, drawing? I don't know, like, right, figure out like who are you creating the content for? What type of person you creating the content for? Because now when you create the content, you know that you want to always create content that resonates well with that person. And I think a lot of people get kind of like stuck in this area because everyone has definitely heard of the word niching. You have to have a niche. What I'm the first to tell you is don't have a niche when you're on YouTube. And I feel like when I first started my channel, I definitely did have a niche, but me branching off into other types of videos, other types of content, it definitely went through and just allowed me to grow my channel that much faster. And I want you to think about it this way. You are the niche. So post content that resonates well with you. Me personally, I love business. I love entrepreneurship. I love different ways to make money. I love thinking about like side hustles and different streams of income, stuff like that. That's just me. So that's what I go through and I create. But you, on the other hand, you might like really like hair. You might really like makeup. You might like beauty and you know femininity and all of those things. So you create your content based upon that. So you literally are your own niche. So I think that it's really important to kind of just try every realm of the things that you like. So you guys can see on my channel, sometimes I do like my chit chat get ready with me's where I'm like doing my hair, I might be doing my makeup. And then at the end of the day, I'm still probably talking about something business related just because that's just me. So you can merge different realms of yourself into all of these different types of videos without it being so niched down. I also think that it's really important to think about like what types of videos do you want to do? Do you want to do vlogs? Do you want to do more sit down videos? In my opinion, and I'm going to let y'all in on one of my number one tips as it relates to getting a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. If you want to know my number one secret tip, that is don't post blogs or let me go ahead and rephrase that. Don't post so many blogs. And the reason why is because social media is literally a search engine. If I don't know who you are, let's say your name is Ashley. If I don't know who Ashley is, I'm not going to be searching up to see what Ashley is doing on a regular day in her blogs. I want to figure out what Ashley can help me with. So you need to be going through and doing videos such as like how to's, five ways to do X, Y, and Z, five reasons why you should do X, Y, and Z, five lessons I learned during X, Y, and Z, how I became X, Y, and Z. I want to be educated. I don't know you, so I'm not going to watch your vlog. And that's just how people think. We're going to watch your vlog after we figure out who you are, after we know, like, and we trust you. Then I'm going to want to watch your vlog. Your vlog. After that, I don't know who you are, so I'm not watching your vlog. So let's get out of the habit of trying to do vlogs. Let's get in the habit of trying to create content that is searchable because no one's searching for you because we don't know who you are. So I got to put y'all up on that. And I also think that it's important to think about like what platforms do you want to use? Do you want to primarily use like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, all of those things. And you also want to figure out that because that's going to also help you when it comes to getting brand deals. If I had no like Instagram presence and I also didn't have maybe like my YouTube presence or anything like that, 
I wouldn't get such large brand deals. So I'm going to talk to you guys about brand deals a little bit later on this week. But the brand deal package that I just closed with one of like the highest paying brand deals that I recently just got is they they wanted me to do content on Instagram and um, YouTube. And if I didn't have an Instagram following or an Instagram community, I probably wouldn't be getting paid as much as I am because they're including both of the platforms in like a package deal. So it is important to have like that omni-channel presence where you are on several different platforms and you do have a community on several different platforms because when it comes to you getting brand deals, they're going to want you to post on YouTube. They're going to want you to post on Instagram. They're going to want you to post on TikTok. And guess what? The mo more platforms you have and the larger your audience is on all of these platforms, the more money you can generate because you're creating content for all of your different channels. So figure out what channels you want to go through and use. Number three, you guys is um create as if you are already an influencer this is another really big thing too um and i don't know why we do this i'm not gonna lie i definitely had a struggle with this too is when i first like got into my content bag or started content creating i was really afraid and similar to what we talked about earlier as to like what are my friends and family gonna think of me they gonna think like girl what is she up there talking about that's not her that's not you know things like that and it is something that, I would, that I'm very interested in, but I feel like you have to literally create as if you are already a content creator. And what I mean by this is you are no longer creating content for your friends and your family. You are creating content for yourself as a brand. And that is like probably one of the biggest pieces of advice I can also give you is stop creating content for your friends and stop creating content for your family. Create content for your brand and for your target audience. So... Um, what does this mean? It means that you can literally become whoever you want to become overnight. I think I was watching, I think her name is Chanel Richie. I was watching one of her YouTube videos and she was talking about how like one day she decided that she wanted to be a social media strategist or a social media coach or something like that. And the next day she changed her name and her bio to social media coach and social media strategist and she started getting clients. That doesn't mean that she wasn't previously an expert. That means that overnight she just made the executive decision to literally change who whatever it is that she wanted to be. And you can do the same thing. Tonight after you finish watching this or today after you finish watching this, change your name and your Instagram bio, your social media bio to influencer, to content creator, to business coach, to business owner to influencer or you know um entrepreneur whatever it is that you want to become you literally can instantly become that person and it's literally just a mindset switch right so um how do we do that right i want you to create content that is particular for your target audience and not content like i said for your friends and family um so i really want you to think about creating content that's going to attract brands so create as if you're already a content creator. So look at your favorite content creators. What type of videos are they posting? And put your own little twist on it. Of course, always make sure that they're quality um, and also make sure that it's good lighting, good sound, all of the things. Um, number four, you guys, is to be yourself. Be yourself, okay? Whenever you are jumping in front of the camera, of course, it is going to be like a little bit challenging to kind of tap into your own personality and your own wave of, you know, speaking to a camera. And I think I do want to do a video on that. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys want a video as it relates to like getting comfortable in front of the camera, speaking to a camera, all of the things. And I feel like me being an introvert, because if you don't know, I'm a very much so an introvert. I don't speak unless somebody speaks to me or unless I'm like in a setting to where I'm comfortable to speak if you will like I'm very re reserved I don't want to say like I'm I, I am shy kind of in a way um, but I'm definitely bouncing out of it but I think that it's important to just kind of like be yourself like I was saying earlier be organic and show up as, as if you're talking to your best friend and show up and talk to the camera as if like you're talking to a bunch of people who are identical to your best friend and just build that relationship that way number five you guys is to start small start small nobody is telling you to go on tiktok and create five pieces of content today let's start with one <laughs> let's start with one it is so funny to me how like some of my clients will be like how many times should i be posting a week you're not even posting one time a week let's start there let's start there let's start small right so not only should you start small with the amount of content that you're putting out start small with the brand deals that you're trying to get to so if you're trying to get, you know, thousand dollar brand deals and hundred dollar brand deals, let's start small with just a gifted exchange. And if you know what a gifted exchange is, that means that let's say I am a business and I create this pin. 
I'm going to give you this pin and you're going to create content for me in exchange for it. It might be an Instagram post. It might be a reel. It might be a TikTok video. It might be a piece of content, right? It might be a user generated piece of content too. So that is what a gifted exchange is. You're giving me something and I'm giving you content in return. And it's like a free exchange. There's no money being transferred. And I know a lot of people when they start, they're like, I don't want to do a gifted exchange because I'm not making money. Start with gifted exchanges. The reason why is because brands are going to be able to see that you are a content creator and that you are open to doing partnerships. Nine times out of 10, if a brand is coming on your Instagram and they're contemplating whether or not they want to have you on board as a part of their team and do a collab or do some type of partnership and they don't see that you've done partnerships in the past, they're not going to give you a really big deal because they don't know that you can handle it. So start small with just really small brand deals. Start with gifted exchanges so that way they can see um, that you are a content creator and that you're open to doing these deals. Um, so nobody is going to pay you $1,000 if they don't see that you've worked with brands before in the past. You also can go through and pitch yourself to brands. I've pitched myself to brands before too. Don't be afraid to tag brands in your content. So if you're doing like a day in the life and you're going to Starbucks, you're going to Target, you're going to... Trader Joe's, you're going to Walmart, you're going to the gym, you're going here, you're going there, tag the brand in any everything that you're doing. So if you're doing a Walmart haul, why aren't you tagging Walmart in your Walmart haul? Because now Walmart is going to see your content and they might want to be able to work with you again on something additional. All right, you guys, so that pretty much concludes today's video. Five proven ways to become a pay influencer in 2023. Give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful. I hope to see you guys at my You Hustle event on April 20th. Again, if you're watching this after April 20th, be sure to go ahead and click my channel name and you'll be able to find that replay under You Hustle. It's going to be a live panel discussion with some of your favorite influencers. I'm super excited for us to dive into the conversation. So I hope to see you guys there. Peace.